How many alcoholics do you know? You know, people that drink uh, 18 cans of beer a day or uh, an entire bottle of whiskey every day. How many of those people have gotten sick or had serious repercussions from too much drinking, uh, from the ill effects that alcohol or alcohol abuse or alcoholism have on your life? That goes for your health, for your social life, your family life, everything, your job. Okay, I'm sure that we've all met people that have had those sorts of problems if we haven't had them ourselves. <clears throat> it's not that uncommon. Now. How many people, how many alcoholics out there, deliberately gave themselves cirrhosis of the liver? How many alcoholics out there deliberately destroyed their own marriages through drinking? Uh, or uh, deliberately got fired from their jobs? Or deliberately shortened their life by 20 years? Probably not that many, especially when it comes to things like cirrhosis or um, perforated stomach lining. I don't think any alcoholics actually say, oh, I can't wait till I get cirrhosis, then I will have drank enough in my life. Um, doesn't work like that. The one follows the other, but it's not a deliberate path. Now, how many people uh, who have kids seek to subvert their kids' lives? I don't know of very many. How many um, parents deliberately go out of their way to make sure that their kids are screwed up, unhappy, uh, neurotic, uh, unfulfilled, um, this sort of thing. Not many that I know of. I'm sure that it does happen. I've seen some fairly dysfunctional families in my time, but it's about as common as the alcoholic who's deliberately trying to derail his life. But we do know that people screw up at parenting. A lot of people screw up at parenting. Um, I don't have any kids yet, but my wife wants to have kids, and um, I'm probably going to screw up at parenting. Oh well, I'm going to do my best to try not to, but it's a lot of that is out of my hands, and I accept the responsibility for that. Oh boy, I'm in I'm in trouble for that statement. <clears throat> but um, I don't actually plan to have kids in order to make sure that they're miserable, that they're wrecks, that they're suicidal that they become junkies or prostitutes or whatever. I don't want them to have horrible lives. In fact, I rather suspect I'm probably going to go out of my way once in a while to make sure, or to try to make sure, that they don't have bad lives. Does any of this make any difference? Does intent make any difference? Oh, I believe it does. You see, the thinking that um, bringing a kid into this world is immoral because of the possibility of suffering um, implies intent. Immorality says, or um, uh, unethical conduct says, you know that something is wrong and yet you do it anyway. You know that there will be bad repercussions and yet you do it anyway. Uh, it's not actually wrong to do something for the best of reasons. Uh, that old thing, I don't subscribe to the belief that hell is... Uh, the road to hell is paved with uh, good intentions. Some people do believe that, and that's fine by me if that's what you want to believe, but I don't see it that way. When we're going to talk about the morality of parenting, when we're going to talk about the morality of increasing the world's population or just adding one person to it, um, we've got to take into consideration intent. Again, I'm sure it does happen, but how many parents out there deliberately have kids in order to make sure that they're screwed up people when they grow up, or even as kids, have kids for the express purpose of abusing them. None that I've met. And um, again, when you're talking ethics, intent counts. Thank you.